Welcome everybody. We're delighted that, that you're here. We've got some lovely things to share with you. We've got uh, probably some news to start off with. Mm -hmm. We've been busy this last week. A few artists are starting to organize in their uh, shows and there were quite a few of them around. We've been through two of them. One uh, was uh, of uh, Patrick Palmer, uh, a wonderful, wonderful exhibition here in Silver Steel Studios in Houston, organized by Serrano Gallery. Patrick's yeah. work is so, so amazing. And he's a, he's a bit of a celebrity here in town. He's the mm -hmm. dean at, uh, at Cassell Art School. And then um, we went through another friend of ours, uh, Dar Schaffer, Schaffer, and she organized an exhibition called D D Dynamism, an Aesthetic Study of Movement. Ooh, fancy. Oh, I know, fancy. And um, anyway, she uh, she did a kind of a historical collection, right? Yeah, she does an amazing uh, kind of abstract, but here she's doing some some kind of representations of battles. Mm -hmm. uh, and and not only that, but there's also some Western things of cattle cattle runs and things like that. But uh, Dar's work is is phenomenal, and uh, she's making a killing. She, she was selling those things. Uh, right off the wall at the exhibition is a very very good night for her I think. But it is so glad to to see everybody kind of um, starting again slowly, yeah. you know, baby steps. And um, yeah, and what we know else that have we Elena done? Sandovich had her exhibition. We didn't. We weren't able to make that. But uh, what else do we need to report? Um, we are in a show as well here in Silver Steel Studios. This is a group uh, exhibition called The Artist at Silver. Uh -huh. And um, I do have some uh, three pieces in the show as well as you. And those are my pieces here. And um, they are two of them, um, Cognition and Drift, are actually printed on plexiglass. They are for sale. Um, the other one, Illumination, it's a um, print, uh, it's an archival pigment print. Uh, it's a uh, printed actually on um, um, paper, uh, cotton paper rug. Mm -hmm. And it's a, um, it's actually, I'm sorry, that is not 26 by 26 and it's a uh, 12 by 12. I, uh -huh. made an, I made an error over there. That's the April Fools. That's the April Fools. And uh, I put some um, um, a video together here to show you more. Our uh, show. To show you more um, from inside the building and inside the exhibition. It's very, very exciting. And I hope you guys, if you are in Houston, come and visit us. Join so you on a until the 8th of May, right? Right. John, do you want to start talking about your pieces? Tell us what you have in the show. Sure, we've got the video going, but uh, oh, they're mine. They're mine. Are I've got three pieces in the exhibition as well. Uh, the uh, the first is uh, Aitutaki, part of the uh, cartographic distractions series that I have, and mm -hmm. those are on paper, uh, and these are nine by twelves, and so that's on on display. It's framed. It's really lovely. Uh, from my fire series, I have fire break, uh, yes. acrylic on canvas, uh, and those are nine, uh, excuse me, 16 by 20s. And then drums is part of that, my newer series uh, called Dreamland. And this is the, the, I think we talked about drums before, and uh, it's on paper as well. So those are the ones that are in the exhibition. And, and as Bogdan mentioned, everything in the exhibition is for sale. Everything we're talking about here today is, is for sale. Uh, kind of the housekeeping bits, if, you, if you're interested in a piece and you just have to have it, just let us know. Uh, if there's a tie, uh, we'll go with the first one who contacted us. And I know there's a bit of a delay if you're on Facebook, but uh, just direct message us, uh, send us a message and we'll, uh, we'll get it to we'll you. Honor. Shipping, mm -hmm. shipping uh, and tax are extra, but we can ship anywhere. So it's it's not a big deal. We can get you the paintings you love. John, yes. before I jump in there, do you want to still talk about the uh, NFT online? Oh, yes, please. Uh, it's it's not too late. We, we, our exhibition is up for a month uh, on uh, on uh, OpenSea, 
which is uh, one of the four, one of the platforms for NFT sales. Mm -hmm. So we've got our collection, which is pineapples, and it is not too late. Mr. Pineapple Head is still available. Uh, it's selling for 0 0.1 Ethereums. So if you've got some extra Bitcoin that you're dying to spend, uh, there's some lovely art available. And uh, like I say, that uh, that auction is, is going to be up for a month. Uh, and we're talking now about trying to create some uh, urgency. And so we're talking about at the end of this exhibition, we're going to destroy all these files. So if you don't buy them, they go away. Wow. So get out your Bitcoin and uh, buy some art. Okay, so going back to my feature work now, um, it's called Reception, and this is from the series Inheritance. Uh, just to tell you briefly, Inheritance covers the decay of a, um, um, how do I call this, an iconic spa complex uh, built by Western Hungarian in, um, uh, in the mountains of West Romania. It, this was um, considered one of the best spas in Europe at the time. And um, in today's picture, I want to show you the reception picture. And it's basically the main entrance of the building. And, you know, after 25 years, maybe more, um, mm -hmm. it hasn't been used. It has been left, you know, open to uh, the winters got through the springs and the bad weather and yet and uh, and the corruption and yet it's still standing and it's beautiful and you know uh, that's a terracotta fountain and and it's amazing to me that that has been there for 25 years uh alone and nobody has damaged any of the artwork there's a few uh graffiti tags but they're all on the new builds on the new mm -hmm. windows and doors they haven't tagged anything that's historical it and just shows the respect it was important so is that what that is on the on, in the blue yes somebody has that that's a a, a a new thermopan door and they have tagged some of those doors but yes. they haven't tagged the uh the, the historical bits okay i have, I think I've seen this or similar ones before, but I've never noticed a tag like that. I think it's fabulous. Yeah, yeah, I think it's great. There's a few more around the buildings as, as yeah. he moves about. But you can see the different hallways are different colors depending upon the thermal qual the thermal properties of the waters uh, for curative purposes. So that's the blue wing and there's a pink wing and, and you've probably seen those other photos. And you can, I mean, I'm not going to go over all these images uh, in today's edition, but if anybody wants to, to get more of these, uh, you can go to my website, bogdanphotoart.com, and um, access the, the series to, to get a, a, a larger view of this um, um, complex. But, you know, I was very glad to, to, to be able to preserve, you know, what was left um and also to to photograph an end of an era an end of a culture um whatever is going to happen with this building is not going to look the same and that's for sure uh, it can be better and it can be worse uh, that the time will will talk about it i'm glad that there is a uh, a group of um uh, students, architects that are taking charge of this, and they are trying to to preserve it, to conserve it, to restore it down the la down the road. Um, if you guys out there uh, want to check out this group, uh, it's called Project Herculane, and they are always in need of funds and uh, money to 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 um, put in this building. So, what else do you have? I have uh, now it's Easter time, and uh, I thought what a, what a great idea to bring the egg uh, series out. And this is um, you know some time ago, John and I uh, belong to a photographers group here in town, and uh, one of the challenges once one time was photographing eggs, which is such a common 
subject to photograph, right? And then uh, I start playing with this idea and I found it so creative and so lovely in a way. And it's just, you, you do look at these eggs, but it's, it's more, it's like a, a symbol of fertility at the end of the day. Um, and, and it's like the, the way I, I photograph them, the way I process them, they're like almost like 3D. And I, I found that they're very, very um, interesting and, you know, brings a little happiness in every home. And this particular- almost sold them all. Remember a guy from a restaurant was going to buy them all. <laughs> yes. They never show up again, but whatever. Uh, some of them are still available. Those are not big um, prints. They are, uh, I believe, um, 12 by 12 on a 20 by 20 um, frame mat. And um, they look like this. Can you guys see me? Mm -hmm. Let me let me stop this. No, we can see it. Oh, okay. I didn't I didn't realize that. And uh, this one too. They're great. Yeah. I mean, they are a lot of a lot of joy and fun. And um, yeah, so uh, if you guys out there want a print from this collection, uh, please let me know. I, there are also um, some uh, more colorful in the same series. But again, they are not yet available on my website. So you can get to me, um, write me an, um, an SMS, a private chat, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Now, John, I think it's your turn to talk about your art. Okay, can we get the slides up? Yes. All right, uh, it's actually here behind me as well. This is Eden, uh, it's 32 by uh, 24 inches, so it's a, a, a decent size painting. It's acrylic on canvas. This particular one I call Eden. I'll let you try and figure out where the snake and the apple are. Uh, actually, I, I, I named it afterwards. Uh, I don't actually try and define my, my paintings that strongly. Uh, when I finished, I was like, ah, it looks like a snake and a garden. So I called it Eden. Uh, but act, uh, very uh, abstract. I, I love the texturing in it. Uh, the texture really, really gives it a, a great personality and you've got a, a detail there that actually shows some of that. Uh, it's great, there's a lot of gold. Yeah, I use a lot of gold in my work and it really catches the light. And the beauty of the gold is, you know, it catches the light and then it doesn't catch the light. It, it depends on where you're standing and it can be a very different look. Uh, it's a very happy piece. I thought it also reminded me of spring. Mm -hmm. And I thought that's the, that's the reason I chose it for today. There are no eggs in it unless you see an egg and then there's an egg in it. Uh, you wanna go is on it, to the next one? Is this available for in, on your website? The, yeah, everything's on my website. I updated everything. And Ian, you know, uh, some of the uh, kind of heads that I've been doing, the little illustrations I was doing, and I, I did them on the Latin textbook, I think that we showed you, Johnny before there's a, a lot in that series. Uh, the slides went away, both down. I know, uh, I was waiting for you to show us in the frame. Oh, well, I do have it framed here. Because I know you work hard on it. Oh, that's beautiful. Can we go back to the slide? Yes. And so I, I had done those illustrations on the Latin textbook and I, I really enjoyed that. And, and then I found this old uh, um, encyclopedia. And there's one thing about, you know, as a librarian, I don't like to, to tear up books, but there's really a couple of books that you can probably get rid of in your collection. And that's encyclopedias and dictionaries because we do that all online now. So there are these wonderful maps in this, uh, in this encyclopedia. So I was able just to take the pages out and do illustrations of faces on maps. And I really, really like these. Uh, this one is Ian, he's in London and uh, it's just a uh, mixed media. It's, it's uh, ink and watercolor. And uh, I, just, I just really, really like the look of it. You won't be able to see the detail, but you know, even the, the map shows through the kind of uh, transparency of the of the watercolor. And then I have others as well. This is one for a fellow from Vienna. 
this is a fellow from Germany. So I'm really starting to play with the, with the maps. I think it's a really interesting look. So uh, when you draw these um, characters, um, uh -huh. how do you base their look on what? Well, the, the characters come out as they come out. I mean, I'll start and, and they I don't have a really clear idea of where they're going. They kind of just form. And uh, that's the reason I, I, some of them are just, you know, god awful and others are, are pretty good. It, it just kind of depends on where, how they develop. Uh, and uh, John, can I ask a question? Uh, of course. Do you, um, would you ever take a commission like I used to live in Cape Town, and so would mm -hmm. you like a Ryan in front of South Africa? Absolutely, I'd be happy to do that. Uh, again, I gotta say though that as a as a portrait uh, painter, uh, the Ryan may look not exactly like Ryan. <laughs> oh, I, you know, I, would, I understand completely. I would want it to be in your style. I just, yes. Okay. Yeah. If Absolutely, were, we could have like, a Ryan. <laughs> yeah, yeah, some like custom options. I think that would be very attractive to a lot of people who love to travel and can exactly themselves in different places. And, and, and again, these these are these are, are books that that will not be used again because of the the content is out of date and things like that. Not the maps, but but the rest of the content. So I don't feel like I'm I'm you know defacing any any literature. But I don't know that there, there is a trend these days uh, where um, uh, there, uh, people are, uh, are drawing like an illustrator characters, um, even, you know, paintings, even, uh, you know, uh, they are transformed in a more um, digital character. Mm -hmm. Did you see them around? The, the oh, yeah. And that's, that's really what sells on the... Uh, uh, NFTs, uh, NFTs, yes. Uh, the uh, it's all digital art, and digital art is really starting to take off on its own, and, and that's why they're looking for for ways to kind of stabilize the mm -hmm. the career path for a digital artist. Uh, but these right. are these are our paintings. They're they're watercolors and uh, on paper. And mm -hmm. I just find, I just really like working on the paper. Uh, whereas the, the written text, and I really did a lot of experimentation with how to react to the actual text without making it about the words in the text. And with the maps, the words are a little more important. The location becomes important because you can identify quickly with where this person is. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and though I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to, to be really literal about the kind of people who live in the place portrayed, I do think they have a, uh, the print is important in, in, in the overall piece mm -hmm. where it is not in the, in the written bits that I've done before. Fabulous. We only have Ryan at this time on Zoom. So Ryan, do you have many other questions? <laughs> Yeah, put him on the spot. No, I guess uh, the one of the questions I had. Uh, congratulations to both of y'all being featured in the um, Silver Street show right now. Um, Thank you. How do you, how do folks you know come see that when they know you'll be there? Oh, that's that's right. We forgot the the, the main thing. Rushing to to finish the slideshow. Um, Yes, the gallery is open basically Monday to Saturday from 10 o'clock in the morning to 5 o'clock in the afternoon. And uh, you can come at any time. Uh, also, John and I, uh, Studios 111 and 108, we are here every day and most of the weekends, um, not because we are waiting for the crowds to come, but we are always busy to create stuff. And... Um, Yes, so we are, we, we are in the studios most of the time. However, if you do want a special time, a special day, you can get in touch with us, send us a private message, and we, um, we're doing a private tour. Uh, for so, uh, the, uh, the committee, the exhibition committee, I spoke with them, and I asked them why they haven't scheduled a, a reception. Uh, 
Mm -hmm. uh, for this particular exhibition, that's normally what we do. And they're feeling that it's still a little early with COVID to, to kind of host a big event. So I, I'll make this offer now is that if anybody would like to come and see the exhibition, I'll give you a private tour. Just contact me and uh, I'll give you a glass of bubbly and, uh, and uh, we'll, we'll do our own individual receptions. Absolutely. Uh, that are, and I've been vaccinated. <laughs> I've had my shots. <laughs> I'll, wear a I'll wear a mask for a while. <laughs> yeah, Bogdan should, should be getting his soon. I mean, that category, I mean, that category, young and healthy. Uh, um, well. <laughs> can I ask one more? And I apologize. Yes. I was kind of taking some notes and I might have missed it. Um, were the selections today based anything on um, Easter? Was that part of your process? I mean, the eggs and the... Yes. The eating. Yes. The eggs was like, oh, my God, I have... I was I was thinking, what shall I bring in today that hasn't been seen in a while? And I said, well, I don't have rabbits and I don't have colorful things. And I said, but I do have these fantastic eggs that haven't been um, out from the box for a while. I'm gonna- What else do you show them? <laughs> yeah, well, they were on display. They were here in the studio for a while. And, um, but yeah, uh, that was just, you know, a, a quick thing, I, I guess. Is this I what just you think so I, I was just going to compliment the selections today because they were, and like Eden has a biblical, um, <laughs> real, real, I mean, meaning to it as well. And so I just thought they were smart selections because they aren't, um, artwork that you would only bring out for one week or you right. know you know they relate or tie to the religious holiday but they're a certainly year-round piece right of, yes of, yes they're not they're not holiday specific <laughs> yeah it's not a bunny rabbit at the, <laughs> the bath a big red heart for Valentine's. that's right yeah anyway so but the, you can pick the eggs uh, not only for Easter, you can you can pick them because you know, as I said, it's a symbol of fertility. Or there is you like kind of the graphic idea of them. Or you can pick them by colors. I have purple, and I have red. I mean, look at them; they look just fabulous together. And they look great in the kitchen. Yes. If anybody's decorating the kitchen. And so the other fun. one, they look I, I, they look together, you know, in squares. Your little Warhol eggs, I call them. And you had a great big golden egg too. Yeah, I do. There's somewhere. That, that's going to be next Easter. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hold on, guys. <laughs> we'll do the giant golden egg and I'll use uh, Eden for a, a Jack of the Beanstalk. See, multi, multi use. Yeah. Oh, um, can I share, uh, since we, or do we have time? I, we we have a couple of minutes. Uh, my new, the new work I've been working on, uh, I just started, oh, you know, yeah. after my, my uh, uh, I finished my project with the residency program, I've started some new stuff and I, it's back here. I'm going to pull the, um, the slideshow just to show everybody an up close. And then I'm going to see you in there. I've gone for scale again. I'm really enjoying working big. Uh, and uh, so these are just uh, abstracts. I've got two about this size and uh, I'm going to be making some more. Did you have a slide of that? Yeah, I did. I was showing it while you were. Oh, you've already seen it. I, yeah. it was, I was trying to show the scale of the thing. Um, How and many that's it? A, just, is this a, I, is love, this? I love getting back to just doing free kind of abstract that uh, doesn't have a lot of theme in it, like my dream. Is uh, that the series? Does. It will be a series. I've only got the two right now. So uh, Bogdan, could you pull up the slides? I saw John walk to show the scale, but I didn't, I don't, I didn't. Yes, see those definitely, definitely. Let me go there. They're a lot of fun. It's just really a celebration. And I think part of me, part of it is probably ending the, uh, the pandemic, I know it's not over, but 
you know, you keep trying in your head to to make it end. Are is this are, is, is that that slide on? Progress, no, it's not. Or is oh. it? Is that I'm sorry, Ryan. Or is it finished? I'm sorry. No, you... Just just one one second. I don't know why I can. The one that you just walked next to is it a work in progress or has, is it finished? It's finished. I just haven't stretched it yet, and I'm not sure. If, I'm not sure what to do with it if it should hang loose like that, or if it should be stretched. I, I would assume I'll stretch it uh, onto a frame. It's very cool. The the scale is amazing. Yeah, yeah, and and we get that a lot here that people are looking for bigger pieces. Um, yeah, I guess I guess because everybody has have big homes around here. Yeah, and this one's very Easter-like as well. Those kind of pastels in the background. Uh, this kind of look like Easter egg colors. But I, I just really had a good time doing it. And, and that, uh, that to me counts a lot. If I'm not enjoying it, it's probably not worth doing. Anyway, it's 11.30. Oh, it's time. It's 11.30. I want to thank everybody who um, was at first Ryan, that he's a big supporter of us. And, yes, thank um, you. I will, and everybody else that is watching us over Facebook, um, thank you for being there. And we want to wish you happy Easter if you celebrate Easter. And uh, the, uh, we'll be here every week, uh, 11 to 11.30 on Thursdays. And uh, please uh, come back. We'd love to have you. And we promise uh, the next time um, live stream on Facebook is going to be better. This time was uh, my eyes were in all over the place to make sure everything goes smooth. Great. Have a great week. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. Bye.